Thank you, Mr. Kid. I am loving these. I'm gonna take some of my black oil sunflower seeds that I give to the goats and use them. I know that they're new seed. <laughs> and so I'm gonna sprinkle some of this where I haven't gone yet and then I'm gonna sprinkle some in all the rest of the space. The reason being, um, I am confident that these are fresh seeds, whereas with the others I'm not. This is my favorite tool for working in mulch or for moving anything else for that matter that I need to be able to really get some teeth into. given us two quarts once a day. She's a first time freshener and I prefer it that way. We don't use more than half a gallon a day and she is so stinking easy to milk. What else was I going to tell you? Oh, so what is in her feed is black oil sunflower seeds, a handful of trace minerals, beet pulp pellets, and alfalfa pellets. I like to also put apples or parsnips or any other kind of root vegetable that I just kind of feel like putting. And then I take this food and give it to um, chamomile and also I will give some to little baby lemon drop. Sorry, this is going to be right at your eyeballs. Let's see if I can turn it in a way that it's not in your eyeballs. Okay, so that's a big deal. When you have them out on stakes, I have ropes that overlap so that I know that every part of the pasture gets grazed. But her rope is wow overlapping with little um, lemon drops. So after lemon drop has her trace minerals and her little bit of pellets and everything, then I'm going to move her. And I'm not going to leave until I have moved her. Um, yeah. So Empress is gone. We sold her and we sold kombucha. I was going to keep kombucha. I wanted to keep both of them because Empress is just such a nice milker. I just, I just don't need all the milk right now. Um, just one more goat and, and not the need. And so I want, but I wanted to keep both, the, both the dolings because Empress is so nice, but we didn't want to send Empress off by herself to be lonely at a house with no other goats. And so I asked the girls if one of them wanted to sell one of their goats and Kai was willing to sell kombucha which I was sad about because I really like kombucha she's the friendlier of the two but um, Paige didn't want to uh, sell lemon drop and so lemon drop is still here and I need to move her to a different rope so I'll try and back the camera off 
and show you how I do that. The problem is I don't really like to have the milk out here this long. I want to get in and get it strained, but I cannot leave her out here where she can hook on with chai. Now they cannot hook on together. So, and you see, she's just, she's not as friendly. Kombucha wouldn't flip out like that when I changed her rope. But see how far they are from each other so they can't hook? Good deal. So I'm going to go take everything else in and leave, I'm going to leave the rest of this for chamomile. Because she is just about due to kid. She has about a month left. And so I need to make sure that her nutritional needs are met. And the reason I'm giving it to Lemon Drop is because where she wasn't nursing a lot before, she was nursing some, and now she won't be nursing at all. You can see how big Mama is getting. She's all sides. She always has triplets. Um, she's such a good girl. So we'll have another gallon and a half of milk a day when she freshens because babies can't keep up on her. And also when she has babies nursing, uh, they're not real good for her udder. Her udder doesn't like to be nursed on. She's much better hand milker than she is uh, a nurse goat. Thing looks so green. This is what it looks like when you finally have your watering system put together. Let's see if I can fix my wonky camera. Finish, Mama? Yeah. 